Hi, Michelle. Would you know a supercritical fluid if you saw one? One hint, it's a substance in a somewhat unusual state. And it's today's topic. Let's go find out what it's all about. Today's Takumi or Innovators company is in the center of Hiroshima along the Ota River. Hello, I'm Michelle Yamamoto. This is Takashi Noguchi, today's Takumi. Please tell me, what is a supercritical fluid? We are very familiar with substances in three phases, liquids, solids, and gases. But a supercritical fluid is considered to be the fourth phase. A supercritical fluid is not a liquid, nor a gas, nor a solid. We went straight in to check it out. This is the device Noguchi developed that produces supercritical fluid. Please look inside this small window. On the bottom, there is liquid carbon dioxide. On the top, it's gaseous carbon dioxide. By regulating the pressure and temperature in the tank, it can maintain the carbon dioxide in both gas and liquid states. Let's turn it on. As the machine is switched on, the temperature inside rises along with the pressure level. The surface of the liquid starts to ripple and swell. The liquid is evaporating and turning into gas. Raise the temperature even further and the boundary between the liquid and gas starts to disappear. At 31 degrees Celsius, when the pressure reaches 73 atm, the boundary disappears completely. This is the moment the carbon dioxide transformed into a supercritical fluid state. This is amazing. What is distinctive about a supercritical fluid? A supercritical substance has the properties of both a gas, which can effuse through a space, and a liquid, which can dissolve matter. This makes it valuable for industrial use. Supercritical fluid is used to degrade dioxins, extract scents, and remove stains from clothing, for example. How is this possible? It's because a supercritical fluid has the properties of both a liquid and a gas. In a gas state, molecules move at high speed and can spread right throughout a space. In contrast, the molecules of a liquid are clustered together, so it has the power to dissolve matter. The molecules of a supercritical fluid move vigorously like gas, but have a high density like liquid. For that reason, it has the power to dissolve and break matter down. We went to see a cutting-edge application of supercritical fluids. This is the research facility of an electric power company. This device uses supercritical fluid to make gas from the leaves of Japanese shochu. You can do that? After Japanese shochu spirit is distilled, the resulting leaves contain a large amount of organic matter. If they were just discharged as sewage, they led to environmental problems. So by taking advantage of the high resolving power of supercritical fluids, they came up with technology to transform the organic matter into substances such as methane, nitrogen and water. New uses for supercritical fluids are being explored in many fields. 
Noguchi said that getting the technology to work in practice was no easy task. The most difficult part was the seal to hold the pressure. With these devices that handle gas, the gas can escape so easily. The main challenge was leakage from the connecting parts. The supercritical fluid would corrode them and the pressure would leak out. After trying various workarounds, Noguchi embedded Teflon and carbon into the packing, which prevented corrosion by the supercritical fluid. He also incorporated a metal spring that eased the pressure. With this, Noguchi had completed his supercritical fluid device. It's tough to create something perfect in a single step. You have to make something within your range at the time and keep on going further step by step. I believe that is one major key to success.